So, you know, further to what Will was saying, Christian, it, it, it's easy to sort of get swept up in the symbolism, the momentous occasion, he's going to step across the line, they're going to meet, they're going to talk. But we, we, have, we have been down this road before, Moon Jae-in arriving there as we, uh, as we speak. But we have been here before and it's not ended well. Is there a sense of optimism more this time? Well, Michael, there is a sense of options. I am in Seoul because I've been speaking to the Korean foreign minister, the South Korean foreign minister, and indeed the highest level North Korean defector that's ever left North Korea to, uh, to here to South Korea. And he was the deputy uh, ambassador in the UK. All to say that there is a great deal of optimism from the South Korean side to the extent that the foreign minister, Kang Kwang Ha, told me yesterday that in fact her leader's leadership is actually riding on this entire summit he has put himself out she said unlike any other previous South Korean leader because of the hugely uh, risen stakes before when the summits were taking place in 2000 and 2007 which as we've said were happening in Pyongyang before North Korea was not actually a nuclear power it was on the cusp of its major developments its major research its testing of weapons and ballistic missiles now North North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has told his people before even coming here that we're a nuclear power that we now must look towards consolidating and towards economic development. So that's how they want to be seen. It is not how South Korea or the United States wants to see them. They want to be able to really get into the nitty gritty of denuclearization. And then the question is, what exactly does that mean for each side? So we're at a point where both sides, and that would be South Korea, the United States and the alliance, believe that denuclearization means the dismantlement and the destruction of North Korea's nuclear weapons and nuclear program. For North Korea, it may mean something different. In the past, it has uh, been en encompassing the whole Korean peninsula. It has a much broader uh, application. It's about the removal of U.S. forces, about a full peace treaty, security guarantees, and many, many other such issues. So what we were told by the foreign minister is that the best one can expect for this summit is a declaration of principles, a declaration of agreement, and as she said, a written commitment by the North Korean leader to the process, which will be a long one, of denuclearization because it's